Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the books I plan to read in the month of December. So if you remember or if you watched my TBR for November, I was at a point where like my library hold waiting list was lagging and I had like four or six weeks on all of the books I've been waiting for. So a couple of those have come through and I was able to read them in November. Now I'm back to the point again where I have four weeks for that's like the minimum time for all of my holds is like four weeks and six weeks. So there's a couple four weeks that fingers crossed possibly people might return them sooner and I'll get to them, which is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir and then Jade War by Fonda Lee, which is a sequel to Jade City. So I will love, love, love if those books come in early and I get to read them. But if not, then I won't be able to get to them until January. So I once again have a very like wishy-washy TBR. I'm not sure what books I'm gonna be able to read because like I said, a million times before, so sorry to be so repetitive. I have to read eBooks when I, I, I spend an hour reading on the treadmill or my stationary bike every morning when I'm working out and it has to be an eBook, not a physical book because I just can't hold on to it. And I don't like to buy eBooks and physical books, so I use my library. So one of the other, fingers crossed if I get really hopeful and um, have spare time at all. This is like an honorary mention book that I hope to get to, and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is obviously book two in the Harry Potter series. I would love to get to this one and annotate it. I've annotated the first book, and I really wanna continue on annotating the whole series. And this one is so relatively short. Um, yeah, like 330 pages, so it shouldn't be that hard to get through. But I love Harry Potter year round but i especially love harry potter around christmas time it's like the perfect time to pick the books up so this is one that i would have to annotate in the evening so it just depends on how much free time i have this month after work and such so we'll see if i get to this one but i would love to pick it up if i get the chance i am filming this on december 1st and i have started two books today already so the first of those books is the eye of the world the first book in the wheel of time series by robert jordan and I don't know much at all about this series. Can't give you a real synopsis other than it's adult high fantasy and supposed to be one of the greatest fantasy series of all times. I have been dying to pick it up for months now and I knew I had to at least read the first book in the series before the year ended. And I'll just say I'm loving it so far. I'm only like just under 100 pages in and it's almost 800 pages long. So we'll see how it goes but I will definitely be finishing this book in the month of December. The other book that I started was an audiobook today, and that is The Winter of the Witch, which is the third book in the Bear and the Nightingale trilogy by Catherine Arden. I have picked this book up once before on audio, and I actually put it down. Just, it wasn't winter time. It didn't feel like the right time of year to be reading it, so I wanted to save it until winter time again. So hopefully I will continue to love this series and finally finish this series up in the month of December. Two more books that I know I will be getting to for sure are Lodestar and Nightfall, which are books five and six in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series by Shannon Messenger. I have these books through Scribd. I can't wait to continue on in the series because I read books three and four last month and I just wanted to keep reading the books in the series so I know that I'll easily be able to get to them in December. I can't wait to see where our favorite characters are going and I just love them so much. I have talked about this series endlessly lately so I'm not gonna get into what it's about but if you've never heard it, heard of it, I highly encourage you to pick it up if you like middle grade fantasy series. Two more books, which it seems like I'm I'm continuing on with a lot of series, like reading two books of the same series each month recently, and I really, really enjoyed that. I don't know, it's like a good amount to read at a time, and it also helps you get through series. So more books that I want to read in December is Tower of Thorns by Juliet Marillier, and this is book two in the Blackthorn and Grimm series. And then I got these from Oh, uh, what is it called? Thrift books. And they didn't have the dust jacket because it's really hard to find. But the second or the third one is Den of Wolves. So this is the second and third book in this series to finish it out. I love the first one, Blackthorn and Grimm. And it's just Juliet Morelli is one of my favorite authors for basically like fairy tale-esque, super atmospheric, beautifully written 
very, very slow, slight fantasy paced stories. And these books, it's more of like a mystery type of fantasy setting. And so yeah, I read Blackthorn and Grimm several months ago, and I've been meaning to continue on with the series since I own all of them. So I definitely want to finish up this series in December. I'm very excited to see where the characters go from book one. For other audiobooks that I might be listening to this month, I was considering listening to The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern and I liked The Night Circus. I'm not in love with it, but it's just intriguing and everybody's talking about it and I kind of just want to know how I feel about it. So there's a chance I'll pick up that audiobook as well as Children of Vengeance and Virtue, the second book in the Children of Blood and Blown series. I need to refresh myself on the first book in that series but I'm really hoping to pick that book up through the library in December. I think I'm like number two on the waiting list, so it shouldn't be a problem since you only get it for about two weeks. That is a young adult high fantasy novel with like African inspired mythology, I believe. So the first one was pretty interesting. I wasn't a fan of the love situation in it, but I liked the magic enough to continue on and see what happens in book two. And then, I also have on ebook The Warded Man by Peter V. Brett, I believe. I just know it's an adult high fantasy series. It's been recommended frequently through several sources. So there's a possibility I'll be reading that this month. Comment down below and let me know if you guys know anything about that series, if I should prioritize that at all. And then also the other book that I have access to is The Humans. Shoot, I can't remember the author's name, but I'll insert a picture of it. And I believe that's like a first contact with aliens where aliens are kind of judging the human race and the way that they behave and such. I've just heard really good things about that book as well. So these are some of the books that I hope to read in the month of December. December is always very busy with Christmas parties and family events and then my birthday is the 18th and so we're always trying to fit in my birthday dinner plans and such around but I love the month of December just getting to spend more time with family and, and stuff like that so I feel like I should still get plenty of reading time in because if anything December just makes me want to cuddle up with a blanket and lay on the couch and stay inside so let me know if you guys have read any of these books if you feel like I should prioritize any of them above the others what you think of them and tell me what you guys are reading in December because I would love to know and thank you guys for watching I will see you next time